I was like, I was trying to get away. What happened? After the 4th of July, where I first met Christine, we ended up hanging out a lot and we became really good friends really fast. And I don't remember exactly how it happened. Like we, I don't know, we just started hanging out. Like we went to movies a couple of times and then she would come over and just hang out. And I wanted to take Jack running. So I remember we would meet at the park down the street from her house or I would meet her at her house. And then we would walk to the park down the street from her house. And yeah, we just, became really good friends. We started doing a lot of stuff together. We would go out to eat together and complain about work. Alicia and I became roommates when I started thinking of moving out of my parents' house. And Alicia was coming up on the end of her leasing agreement with her current apartment setup. And so it just made sense being friends and both looking for apartments to think about looking for an apartment together. So we picked out this really great apartment that was only a couple of miles away from where I was working and it was perfect for me because then I could come home and I could let Jack out during my lunch break and then go back to work. So I would save money on not having to pay for lunch. I would be able to go home and have lunch and then be close to my dog. So we had put the deposit down, I had arranged the movers, and her mom had mentioned a couple of times when I would come over, like, hey, why don't you just move in with us? You should just really move in with us. I have an extra room, why don't you just live here? And I kind of always just was like, eh, you know, I'm gonna have a roommate again anyways. Do I really wanna like rent out of another family's house? And I think it was like three or four days before we were set to move, before my lease was up. And Alicia comes over to hang out with me at my mom and my dad's house. And my mom turns to Alicia and she's like, you know, I'm just, I'm just so worried about you guys. You should just move here, you should live here. You could, you could move in here with us. You could live in the upstairs. Your family, you're like family anyways. And Christine could just stay here. And y'all would pay like this reduced rent and you'd be saving money. You're like my daughter. And it would just be so much better, don't you think? So just move in. And then she just sort of talked to us about it. She sort of talked Alicia around, and then all of a sudden, Alicia's moving in with me instead of me moving out with her. And I'm like, what is this? I was like, I was trying to get away. What happened? It took a lot of convincing, but I caved. I had some rules if I was gonna move in. And the rules were that I got the big bedroom. So unfortunately, I kicked Christine's brother out of his room. I feel a little bad, but I think he's okay about it. I don't think there's any hard feelings there. Are there hard feelings there? Okay. <laughs> I remember keeping the movers so that the movers could literally come and move me from one block away into both a storage unit that was half a block away, the distance in between my apartment and Christine's house, to Christine's house. And that was one block. And now we're roommates. And we've been roommates for many, many years. And for some reason, I can't move out. Could be because of money. Could be because her mom says that I can't leave unless I'm moving out of state or getting married. Marriage. Marriage is what brings us together today. Or it could be just because I don't want to deal with moving. Every, I hate moving. And uh, yeah, now we're still living at my parents' house. <laughs> it's nice.